We should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate uh, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. For those of you who kind of have a big question mark about what's going on relating to uh, these attacks that they're doing against people like Alex Jones. Now, see, they're using him as a scapegoat for one reason. Because up until now, he's the only other person besides Rush Limbaugh who was giving facts about what Obama began in 2008 with his global government. And uh, Alex, Alex Jones, Jones done many, many stories relating to uh, the New World Order that started back uh, even during the time that George Soros was uh, coming to power himself. And then you've got Saul Alinsky, who was a, uh, he was a, not only a socialist, but he, he, uh, he wrote a book called uh, Rules for Radicals. Now, people, people kind of laugh that off today, and they say, well, you know, so Hillary read it, so did Obama, so did all the other great dictators of uh, American history, but it doesn't matter because all we're after, and, and this is what most people believe, they're after those who want to tell the truth like Trump and condemn him, and now they're going after people who are actually not associated with Donald Trump himself. One is Alex Jones. Another person who they did attack and destroy was Bill O'Reilly. He's, He's done, done a lot, lot of books in the past uh, 20, 20 years, and you don't see him talking anymore because, because that's, that's what, what the socialists intended to do when uh, Obama became president. They, they went, went after, after people who were on radio, who were on television, who actually were telling the true facts of what the global government's all about. And nowadays, people think, oh, you're just a conspirator. And I, I have to ask you, well, if I'm a conspirator, then how come so many people are so lame, idiotic about the whole thing, that they think it's just a farce, and they don't want to even pursue seeing if the facts are true or not. They don't want to know, because if you look in the Bible, and I've said this many times in other videos, God said this 2,000 years ago in the Bible. It said that in the end times, the devil would confuse so many people that God would kind of step back his influence of showing the truth to people because they wanted to believe Satan's lies, Lucifer's lies. And that's exactly what's happening now in our society. People don't want to believe anything that Trump tells them because Trump literally is um, a synonym for what Israel had during the times that they had judges. Judges were sent to help Jerusalem to help the Israelis out of problems that they had created for themselves. And we're talking like generations of Jews over time had gotten away from God's word, and he brought judges when they repented, and they asked God to intervene and help them. And, they, and God sent them a judge each and every time they did actually fall back into sin again, and then God would send another judge later. I truly believe that Donald Trump is our judge. He was sent here to America to try to create what America has lost, and that is patriotism. He's trying to bring back what we used to be, a great nation. And, and do you remember during the campaign for Hillary Clinton, 
What did Michelle Obama keep saying to people? Don't let anybody tell you this ain't the greatest nation on earth. Well, look, look at what's happened, folks, in just two years since Obama left, left office. He has now manipulated people to the point where they're killing themselves. He's now manipulating their minds to believing that Trump is the, is the bad guy. And how is he doing that other than using the fake media itself to create more and more delusions? And he started all this during the time that he was president. And let me just bring up one fact. He used, I don't know how many psychiatrists to do what he justified as being brain research during the early two years of his presidency from 2009 to 2011. Now, this is right after they started high-definition television. He started doing a series of brain research projects to find out what alpha, what beta waves can be used to manipulate people's minds. And then he instigated it into what's now known as high-definition television. And now that he is no longer in office, he has even more power. Because, see, he still controls the media. He still controls all of the, of the major networks. CBS, CNN, Fox, ABC, NBC. Uh, and how does he do that? Well, first of all, he's using the, the broadcast media itself to transmit all of this crappy alpha and beta crap. And this is what's manipulating people to believe that Obama is the greatest man that ever lived and that Trump, who is trying to do what's right for America, is actually the bad guy. Don't you see how he's flipped it around? And God said that's exactly what would happen. In the end times, what was always good will be seen as evil. What was evil has always been seen as evil. It would now be seen as good. Pope Francis did that when he became Pope. He said... You can, you can live, live any kind of illicit, illicit in more way you want to, to. and it's, it's perfectly all right. You can. He advocated for gay homosexuality. He advocated gay marriage. Uh, all of this stuff, and and society is so brainwashed by the global system, the Illuminati, the Bilderberg Group. They don't have rational ideas of what this is about anymore. They don't want to know what it's about anymore. People are blind because. Most, Most who are unsaved would not want to see the truth. They, they want, want to live a lie. They, they want, want to live any way they can to be happy. And drugs are just totally out of control now. You know, I saw a story on NBC tonight showing that uh, in New Haven, Connecticut, there was such a massive overdose of people who were using opioids. And yet people would laugh it off and say, well, that, that's because they're getting bad, bad opioids. They're getting rat poison mixed with uh, marijuana, heroin, and all the rest of it. Yeah, but why would anybody want something so bad that they would take poison just to satisfy an urge like a, a high? You know why? Because, because Satan is controlling everything through Obama. Obama is telling people, and he, tell, he told people this in 2010, you want legal drugs, marijuana, heroin. He made it legal. He made it legal for you to buy it all over the United States. He made it legal in every state of the Union. And people forget the fact that it wasn't like that before Obama became president. It was still illegal to buy narcotics like heroin, crack, methamphetamine, met all the rest of them. It isn't like that now. Now, because of what Obama started, and he used the lie of saying to the American public, we must make marijuana available for children who are sick. That was the lie that started it. Then he turned around and he even provoked it beyond that and said, well, we're going to make it recreationally available as well. And then everybody can get marijuana, whether it be you need it for medicine or whether you need it for anything else. And now we have a nation that is totally uh, opioid uh, addicted to, to all narcotics that only 30 years ago were illegal. And the government itself was telling people, drugs are a dead end. They, they advocated it. They advertised it. The Ad Council promoted it every which way. And now, ever since Obama was president, everything is now the opposite of what it used to be. People knew what was right and wrong. 
That's not, not true now. Now, now they don't, don't even know anymore what's right or wrong. Guess, guess who made that happen? Obama himself did that. Trump is now seen as the bad guy. Because, because see, he, wa he wants to do what's right, right for America. America. He's, He's trying, trying to put his back the way we used to be. He's, He's trying, trying to get rid of people who are trying to destroy this country. And that's, and that's why, why they're attacking him. him. That's, that's why, why they, they put him down all the time. time. Because, because, see, they don't, they don't, they don't want, want people to know the truth anymore. Obama, the Illuminati, uh, Lucifer, uh, the Bilderberg Group, every organization you can think of who has been against freedom in America are at total... Readiness, readiness to destroy, to destroy our, our individuality, individuality, our individual rights as American citizens. And, and what you have is probably 85 to 90 percent potheads who make up America itself. These are the gays, the homosexuals, the uh, opioid uh, pot addicted uh, young people. And these are the same kids, by the way, who are shooting each other at like Parkland. Uh, Santa, Santa Fe, Fe, all these other school shootings. shootings. You, know you know why that's, that's happening? happening? Because, because see, parents don't care anymore about their children. They, they don't, don't care what they do. They don't care what happens. happens. All they care about is um, have a kid, and then the kid is totally on his own. Uh, thereafter, her own she, women uh, uh, see themselves absolutely as as goddesses. That uh, the man is nothing that uh, what a woman believes and what she wants, uh, all society will believe it and accept it, and the same is true for blacks. Blacks and Latinos both are controlling uh, our, our, our media and our society, and only one person could give them that kind of power, and that's Lucifer himself, and that's Obama, because Obama started it. Obama was the very first person from the very day one who said to the American public, I know, I know what, what you, you want. want. I, know I know the, the kind, kind of change you're looking for. for. And for, for eight years, he gave it to uh, the degenerates, the the the, 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 the privatated, the the, the 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 every kind of uh, of, of, of immoral person, person there is in society. And, and now, guess what? what? They are the ones that are saying and dictating to the rest of of America of what gonna, what's going to happen. happen. Atheists. We're, we're in control, control of, of uh, the, entire the entire religious system, system for eight years. years. Obama was in office, and thankfully, thankfully Trump, Trump did win the election. election. But, what but what are they, they doing? They're trying to show a lie, a farce, a fabrication that there were the Russians, Russians who were involved in a collusion. In a collusion. The, the only collusion, collusion there ever was and will ever be was between Russia and Hillary Clinton. Clinton. She created a fake dossier, dossier on Trump during the time of the election. election. And do you know to this day that Hillary Clinton was never held accountable for that collusion, nor was Obama for giving $150 billion to the Iranians, who then turned around and used that money to uh, uh, endorse and uh, actually finance terrorists who attack Israel, who attack all other nations that don't accept Islam. Um, they, they still do it. To this day, Iran still does it. I just, I just saw, saw a show on, on PBS. PBS. This, this, this is absolutely laughable. This is a government station or network. PBS is run by the federal government. They did a series about Muslims in Iran, and they showed through the whole program of how pitiful they are as people. In other words, we're supposed to be having uh, pity for them uh, because of the fact they live the way they do, that they don't have as many rights as other, other nations, nations because, because that's, that's the way that Islam teaches them, them that men are still, still in control. control. That's, that's why Western, Western society, that's why women, women themselves are forcing, forcing some way or another, they're, they're forcing, forcing their, their philosophy, philosophy on every other culture, culture in the world, world especially Muslims. Muslims. And, and they, they sit, sit there and, and they pat themselves, themselves on the back every time they make some kind of a significant change in the belief that women are more important, should be more important than men in these countries where Islam is not only practiced, but it's enforced. Because Islam is very, very clear about what a woman is. She is to be submissive to the man. She is supposed to adhere to whatever a man says, even a complete stranger. And women in America are just absolutely... Uh, 
petrified that such a philosophy could even exist because they believe as women that it's about them and it's not about anybody else. And in America, perfect example. Look how totally chaotic and messed up our country has become because Obama, because Lucifer gave women something that they've never had before in American or even world history. He has now given them the same status quo as Adam and Eve had when God created mankind on earth. When he created Adam, he then created woman after that. Now women are going to say, oh no, that's not true. Yes, it is true. Because woman herself is who actually beguiled Adam. And thereafter, Adam and every other human that's ever lived was under the curse of sin because woman herself, Eve, was beguiled by Satan. Adam wasn't beguiled by Satan. It was Eve. In other words, that shows that a woman is the inferior sex because they, they created this whole mess of society because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. That's reality. Now, in today's society, people say, no, that ain't true. Women are uh, superior to men. Men are nothing. Uh, you see that in advertising. You see it in film. You see it on television. You see it in newspapers. Everything is the opposite of how God intended it to be when society was created. Don't believe me? For 2,000 years, it's been one way. And then only in the past two decades have women totally screwed up everything. And I still say it's because Lucifer has been able to give women a what I call a status quo above what they've ever had. He's put them at the same level as Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden. Women now say to themselves, we are better than men. We can do everything better than men can. And guess what? It was Eve who created the very first beguilement of the human race when she ate the apple of the, of the tree of good, of good and evil. And, and that's one thing women do not ever want to be told to society again, that it was them that started it. And now they're doing it all over again, but on a totally different level now. So that, in a nutshell, is really my video. I wanted to make it clear to people of why everything is so upside down in our country today. It is not Trump's fault that this thing has happened. It's because so many people believed a lie called Obama and his change that he was going to bring to America. And it has not helped America one day since he was president of this country. I don't even think he was legitimately a president because he did not do anything to help this country. He destroyed this country. He destroyed normalism. He destroyed rational thought. He destroyed, uh, really, uh, equality. Because, because now, now the blacks, blacks feel they have to have the only say in, in any argument that, that a white person is now their slave. slave. We've, We've been lowered basically to the level of the Civil War in the 1860s. Now blacks saying, we're your masters. You are our slaves. That's, That's what the blacks, blacks are telling people. people. And, and people, people are going to laugh their heads off. off. But you know what? All you have to do is stand back and look at it. And, and then you, you realize, realize this is exactly what Lucifer intended to do to, to, to the world. Because now he knows his time is very, very short. What am I talking about? I'm talking about God, Jesus Christ, is going to return in the second coming. And the more that this society becomes more degenerate, more corrupt, uh, you just have to wonder how long can it last how long will it last if people don't start being rational and realizing that, Pump, that Donald Trump is the only hope America has instead of condemning him instead of putting him down then I say there is no hope for America ever and uh, it's only a matter of time before either China Russia together with Iran destroys this nation and don't, and don't think it can't happen because North Korea already, already has proven they have nuclear weapons, weapons too. We know Iran, if they don't, they don't have it now, they are working on it. And here Obama gave them $150 billion. What do you think? They're not going to use it to make a, a nuclear weapon with it? 
and then people sit there on the internet and they say, well, they think Iran has every right to have nuclear weapons. I don't. Because anything that happens to Iran, Russia has already made a pact. They're going to stand with Iran no matter what happens. If the United States were to nuke Iran or Tehran, the Russians have already got a pact. It would, it would totally and completely retaliate against the United States or any nation that attacked Iran. Because they both, all, they both have an agreement together. And all you got to do, folks, is look it up in the Bible. And it talks about Persia. It talks about the leader from the north. All of these different nations, Turkey, who is now against the United States, all of this is going to be a confederation of nations that are going to rise up against the Middle East, in the Middle East, against Israel. Because Israel is the one city that all of the countries that are Israel, I mean, they're uh, Islamic, that are uh, actually of the Muslim faith, they don't believe Israel should exist. Guess what? It's been there longer than they have. And, and God, God brought them back, back, and it's all entirely based on what the Bible said would happen. 1948, 70 years ago, God said, I'm going to return my people to their homelands. And he did. So there's nothing more really you can say except that the Bible is true, and you can either believe it, or you can believe Obama's lie and keep living the way you are and just hope that someday maybe you would see that Jesus Christ is the only hope for the world because he is the only true and living God. He is the Son of God who died for the sins of the world. And if you don't want to believe that, then, you know, the Lord help you because he is the only hope humanity has once God's wrath comes down on this world. And it's already starting. I've been saying that. The tribulation has begun. People laugh that off. A lot of people haven't even come back to my channel because they know it's true. And now all they can do is laugh it off and think, oh, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. I just proved it to you in 20 minutes' time of exactly what society has become today. And all people want to do is laugh it off and say, oh, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, fine. Keep living the lie. Alex Jones might not ever be able to talk about what he has been talking about in the past 20 years. But you know what? Eventually, the good news, the truth, will end, and then you won't have anything else to fall back on except for the lies that Obama's been telling you. And therefore, after, you're not going to have a choice except to believe it and to accept whatever he tells you. And Hillary Clinton, if she had gotten elected, oh my, I mean, I can't even tell you what this country would have become. It would be an absolute nightmare, even worse than what it is right now.